So let's take a look at the last part of strolling down the highway. And again, let's look at the chords first. Uh, the first two chords we already know. We have our A major. Our E7. Then we're going to go back to A major. I'm going to be playing this as a bar chord. Then we're going into the C sharp 7. So this is the C chord with the 7th here fretted on the, the um, G string and it's moved up one fret. And then we have the F sharp 7 which is an E shape with the 7th here on the B string. It's moved up two frets. I'm not playing the, this as a bar chord. Because I'm only playing the strings I need. And then I'm just going to slide this shape down into an E7. So this uh, section begins the same way as the introduction. to slide into the A major. I'm sliding on both the B and the G strings. And as you'll hear me, I'm playing the bass as the slide hits the second fret. Then I'm pulling off on the <clears throat> G and the D string and coming back. And again, I'm playing this A bass as I'm pulling off. And then alternating. notes and this open A string. So now as you see me not only muting this bass a little bit but I'm also cutting these notes a little short by lifting my finger off a little bit. Let me move into the C-sharp, just arpeggiating this, but then I'm lifting my finger off on the A-string and I'm playing this open A. a little bit of movement in the bass and then I like to slide into this F sharp 7 and here you really need to mute this a little bit so it doesn't sound bad because again I'm muting it quite heavily because this is not a good sound so alternating moving the bass around a little bit. So then I just move this whole shape down to the E7. I hammer 
on here. And then two of open E strings. And then I'm bending this note on the B string. I'm playing these open E strings again. So it doesn't really matter which note you can hear, you just want, you just want this little sound here on this bending string. Then we move into <clears throat> a little repeated little bluesy pattern here. And what I'm doing here is basically just playing this open E string <clears throat> and the open G string and then hammering on and off with my index finger on the first fret of the G string, and then playing this D string. Then after this, we're back to this part, which we've already done. So let's take a look at this slowly a couple of times. gives you pretty much the whole main theme of this song. Now Bird plays this with a few couple of variations uh, as the song goes along and his vocal comes in, but you could probably figure that out just by listening to the record and knowing these chords and the main uh, positions that we're going to be playing in. Now this is a really fun song, uh, it's one of my absolute favorites to play, and I hope you have a lot of fun with it, and I hope you also got something out of this lesson. <laughs>